Well, we all knew it was coming, but now it's official. Over the weekend, Rashida Tlaib endorsed Bernie Sanders at a rally in Detroit, and her pitch for Bernie Sanders was expectedly brilliant. Take a look. We deserve someone who writes the damn bills. <laughs> So that entire clip that I just showed you was 37 seconds long, but she spoke for maybe five seconds, give or take. Now, the reason why I play that for you is because I want you to see just how crazy the crowd was going. I mean, at every single one of these rallies, the crowd is incredibly enthusiastic, incredibly passionate, and it's not just this rally. I mean, at the rally in Queens, we all saw where more than 25,000 people showed up uh, with Michael Moore and AOC and Bernie Sanders. The crowd was going wild. This passion and enthusiasm is exactly what you need to propel you to victory because Donald Trump supporters, they are mobilized. They're galvanized. They're going to come out and support Bernie Sanders. So what we need is a Democratic Party nominee who's going to do the same on the left, get people who usually tune out of politics engaged and bring them into the fold, turn non-voters into voters. And all signs point to Bernie Sanders being the one candidate who can actually get people involved. That is incredibly important. And pay attention to these rallies because it shows you that there's something happening in this country. And it's happening with regard to this political revolution that Bernie Sanders created in 2016 that is slowly but surely bleeding out to other countries, right? We're seeing this type of populist grassroots movements pop up in um, in Brazil, of course. This happened before Bernie Sanders with Lula da Silva, but it's happening in Canada to an extent with Jagmeet Singh. It's happening in the UK with Jeremy Corbyn. So Bernie Sanders, when he talks about political revolution, he's talking about it in terms of the United States. But I think that this really does have the potential to change the world and have an international type of movement and really reverse this wave of neoliberalism. And the reason why I started thinking about this in terms of the international context is because of Rashida Tlaib's endorsement of Bernie Sanders. So something that she said in here really was important to me. So let's listen to her official endorsement. This was after the rally. Um, and I want to talk about it because there are implications of this that I think are really broad and extend beyond the United States. Amo Bernie is what I like to call him, which Amo means uncle in Arabic. I think Amo Bernie, when he saw just not myself, but my other sisters in service being attacked by this president, this bully. For him, there was no hesitation. He jumped on board and said, what can I do to uplift you all? What can I do to support you all? The fact that he truly believes that women like us, women that this institution hasn't been ready for, that we feel supported. And uh, from day one, he's always made us feel like that. I am endorsing Amo Bernie Sanders because he's not gonna sell us out. He understands that it's not just about policies and about words, but it's gonna be also about completely transforming the structures in place that is hurting American people. For me, representing the third poorest congressional district in the country, he is in many ways pushing back against this really painful oppression. It's been incredibly inspiring to see his unwavering, uh, support for the same ideals that I have about people over profits. He is speaking about that mother that is tired of walking by blighted homes, tired of having to send their child to a school that doesn't have clean drinking water, or fighting just for the right to literacy right now that's happening in Michigan. I mean, there's something incredibly inspiring about someone that we know is not gonna sell us out, that's not going to bow down to these structures that are so built on racism, built on uh, choosing those that are wealthy, that he's consistent uh, in saying that he's with us first. He will always choose us first. My family, it has never ever really come together on a lot of political issues, honestly, after the passing of my father. But I'm a Bernie seems to be able to unite us.
So that last point was so important because she says that my family, you know, we don't agree on much, but Bernie Sanders is the one thing essentially that we agree on. And of course, I'm paraphrasing, but think about this. This is a Palestinian woman saying that her family doesn't agree on much, but the one thing that they agree on is that Bernie Sanders, a Jewish American politician, is the real deal. That really sends a powerful message to the world that both Muslim women in Congress are endorsing a Jewish presidential candidate. That is a powerful, powerful message, right? And what it goes to show you is that this progressive ideology, this movement that Bernie Sanders catalyzed, this really is the one thing that is unifying people. I mean, candidates like Pete Buttigieg and Joe Biden, they try to talk about bringing people together. But Bernie Sanders is actually doing it. He is bringing together people from all walks of life, unlike any other candidate. So if you truly want to unify the country, Bernie Sanders is someone who is demonstrating that he's doing that right now. And Rashida Tlaib's endorsement is helping to demonstrate how he's getting that done. Now, on top of that, she also said that Bernie Sanders is not going to sell us out. And she reiterated that sentiment, saying there's something incredibly inspiring about someone you know is not going to sell us out. This is really important because during this primary, we're trying to figure out who's the best, right? I mean, we already know who's the best, but voters, more broadly speaking, in this Democratic Party primary, they're trying to see who's the best candidate. And a lot of people who participate in primaries, they're the most politically engaged, they're the most active, and they're usually more left-leaning, right? A lot of them, at least. So when she says we're not going to be sold out by someone like Bernie Sanders, that's really important because essentially what she's communicating to you is that he is the best candidate if you truly want progressive policies to be implemented because his starting position is the strongest. Not only is he stronger on almost every single issue, in fact, uh, I'd argue every single issue than Elizabeth Warren, but we know that he's not going to sell us out because he hasn't already started to compromise before negotiations even began, and he's been advocating for these same policies for decades. So that's someone who you can actually trust. Like when a politician comes to our side and they acquiesce, and they say, look, I endorse this policy that you want me to support, that's great, and we should give them credit where it's due. But there's a difference between giving them credit and knowing that they're going to fight for something, right? And that's where we don't really have to worry about Bernie Sanders. We know that when he says he's going to fight for Medicare for all, he means that he's actually going to fight for Medicare for all. Whereas when Elizabeth Warren says she's going to fight for Medicare for all, well, that could mean, well, she's going to fight for a path to Medicare for all. And maybe we don't do Medicare for all now, but we implement some type of healthcare reform that gets us on that trajectory towards Medicare for all rather than just going directly there. Now, I hope that if she's elected, she proves me wrong. But the fact that I have doubts demonstrates why she's not as good as Bernie Sanders. And it's not because, you know, I'm just overly cynical and I'm skept skeptical about Elizabeth Warren because I'm a Bernie Sanders sycophant. No, this is based off of their history. This is based off of their records. And who's been advocating for this solidly forever? I mean, Elizabeth Warren, back in 2012, when she was running for the Senate, she wavered on Medicare for all after previously writing an op-ed supporting it. And then in 2017, she endorsed it. And in 2019, she started to waver. And then she fully endorsed it again out of debate Look, there shouldn't be a question in my mind that you're going to fight for the policies that you are saying you support. There shouldn't be a question there. And when Rashida Tlaib says that Bernie Sanders isn't going to sell us out, that's what she's talking about, I think. So overall, this endorsement is great. The fact that three-fourths of the squad endorsed Bernie Sanders, it goes to show you that this is a movement with momentum. The most vocal progressives in Congress are backing Bernie Sanders. And if you are progressive, if you want us to get on that trajectory of social democracy and actually put humanity at the focus of our policy and not what large multinational corporations and donors want, I mean, it's obvious. It's Bernie Sanders, right? As Michael Brooks would say, everyone else in this race is a distraction. Fight for Bernie Sanders. Vote for Bernie Sanders. He's the clear choice here for progressives, for the left.